So guys, uh, today uh, I've been doing this for a little, well, actually a couple weeks now. I thought it was pretty cool, so I just want to share an idea with uh, all of our viewers. And um, I've actually picked this up from some of the forums and a lot of other things too. And uh, it really boiled down to just uh, one day I got bored and just tried to try it. So here we go. We have women's nail polish or whatever they use to make their nails really fancy. Well, this is what I picked up. Uh, I bought them at Walmart. They're like two bucks a piece. I got a really fine glitter, chrome glitter, random, random stuff. Just all, um, you know, random stuff. And then you got to have your uh, bigger flakes. And then you have a blue and purple. The best or close I can get to a chartreuse and an orange. So, yeah, I got a lot of these actually on sale. So, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And this is what I was able to do with them. And this is just a basic, uh, this is a 2.5 Strike King KVD uh, square bill. And uh, you're able to do stuff like this with them. Okay. And just make your lures look a little bit different. I mean, if you throw them straight out of the box, they work. But they're not always going to work. So do something a little different. I'm not saying do it to all of them, but just do it to some of them. And some of the lures you buy don't have such a good paint job on them, so you just kind of, you know, add to it. Like this one, for example. Uh, I like the base color, but I didn't think it was a complete, you know, complete job. So I added uh, just a little bit of gold to the top. I think it makes it look a lot better. I added some orange on the bottom, which I like orange bellies on my uh, lures. Here's a couple other ones I'll show you guys. And kind of more like this. See, this is kind of a blue color I had. This is the uh, Six Cents 50X. And didn't add too much to it, just added a green butt onto it. And a lot of the purple went on top because I know that bluegills have a lot of purple. And they, these lures just don't have a lot of purple. And the other thing is, I. I uh, I painted the entire lure with the uh, real fine speckle. Uh, well, actually, this one right there. So you get this shine all over. So that's pretty cool. And then I did four other ones. I actually did one a lot. Should find it. Turn my square little box in case I haven't seen it. I'll try a lot of different lures. We don't have a, a big favorite yet, but here's one that's pretty cool. But I, I thought it was pretty cool. So this is one, this is a shad pattern, but uh, shad pattern, let me camera focus here. There we go. A shad pattern with a uh, purple top. Yeah, purple top on a shad pattern. Kind of a cool deal. It's almost like a, it gives yourself like a a uh, like a do-it-yourself uh, uh, paint job but basically all you do is you just pick the colors you want and you just paint it on so it's a pretty cool idea I'll try to do one right now so you guys can see a before and after shot of what it could do to you when you launch okay so this one just dried and the cool thing about this is it dries real fast you know two three minutes it's dry so there it is Let's do this one too, because I seem to like the, the bluegills a lot more. So the bluegill, I do pretty, keep it pretty simple. I don't have too many yellow things or things like that, but for me, bluegill has purple. So here's the purple. And I'm going to do both sides on this one, because I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm just pretty confident this purple is going to work. And the cool thing is you can actually, you know, paint one side shad and one side bluegill. And I haven't done that yet, but that's what I'm trying to do in the future. So, definitely purple on the sides. They come down a lot lower, too. That's the thing, too, about this. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe this one will come out pretty good. You know? And don't go stealing your wife's or your girlfriend's stuff because they'd probably kill you. 
Now see how that already, uh, here we go, see how that already looks pretty good? And then of course it's, you know, it's got a little orange up here, but they barely sprayed it on. So what you're going to do is you're going to enhance it. Because you know, all bluegills, this orange comes all the way to the belly. I used to fish with bluegills all the time when I was young. And you know, this orange piece comes all the way back. All the way back. So, give it a lot. Okay. So it looks like that, right? That looks, looks more like a bluegill now already. But the other thing is, bluegills always have a chartreuse tail, right? They always do. Always got a chartreuse tail. So, let me just put it on the back like that. A little bit like that. A little bit on the back side. That is a trick from Lucky Craft. I've seen Lucky Crafts do that. So, there you go. See, that's like, that didn't take too long, did it? Oh yeah, we gotta douse this with uh, uh, some clear. See this little one too. And you'd have a pretty cool looking lure. I'm gonna try to open this with one hand. One hand holding this and my knees holding the camera. So, bear with you. So you're almost done, right? And then you just gotta douse it. Cause there's no there's no shine on this lore. It's, it's pretty dull. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it shine just a little bit. It's not it doesn't actually kill the translucence of the lore, but it just makes it shine a little bit more. You see it? You know? Yeah, it doesn't completely change the lore. It just enhances it. There you go. Okay, I'll paint this other side too. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got these lures on sale at Academies. Uh, brand new Academies just opened up, and it was already on sale. So, they must be doing a clearance on some some of these things. But anyhow, look at it. There you go. That, that's how you just improve it. You know, you don't redesign the lure. Just make it better. But this one looks way better than the other one. <laughs> I kind of messed up on that one, I think. But you didn't. I mean, you never know. The ugliest lures seems to be the best lures. But there you go. See? That oh, looks so much better. I think it looks so much better. Anyhow, good ideas, bad ideas. Uh, pull some up. Any questions, comments? Let me know.